Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Terry, and I do nail videos. And today I have a nail stamping plate review for you all. Um, these stamping plates were sent to me for review by Manitude. And this is a company based out of Denmark. And they sell a variety of different stamping plates. And I believe they take like requests from their Facebook group people on like what kind of stamping plates they should create. So be sure to check them out on Facebook. And I have four stamping plates I'm gonna review for y'all today. I have a fall stamping plate, a Scooby-Doo, a game night, and then one of their basic stamping plates, which is their alphabet plate. So, um, if you like these type of videos, be sure to hit the like button. And let's go ahead and get started. So since this is a review, I'm just going to be showing y'all how these plates stamp and how the images transfer on my nail. I'm not gonna do anything special or fancy. Um, I'm not gonna do a nail design in this video. I am going to have another video coming up that's gonna show you what nail design I did with these stamping plates. So start off by removing this blue film on each of the plates. Okay, this one is called Game Night. So it has a variety of different board games. I'm gonna start off with this design that kinda of looks like Hungry Hungry Hippo. And I'm not gonna bother cleaning up the design before I stamp it onto my nails. I just want y'all to get the overall picture of how the images transfer to the nail. Anitude did send me one of their stampers, but I completely forgot I had it, and I did not use it for this video, so I'll have to test that out later. I ended up using my Maniology stamper. I did have a little bit of an issue scraping this Uno design. It's just because it's on the edge. The edge designs are a little bit harder to scrape. You have to scrape them a certain way. Um, you can see I just wasn't able to get rid of that giant glob of polish on the end. But the rest transferred beautifully. But I'm going to redo this image and scrape it the other way by just turning the plate and scraping it off the side of the plate. And I was able to pick up the image much better, much cleaner. Um, so there's tons of way to troubleshoot. If you're not able to pick up a specific image, you want to try scraping in different directions or trying a different um, stamping polish or you can try using a different stamper. Um, typically one of those, typically if you try different things, one of those will work and you'll be able to pick up the image. But me just scraping off the side of the plate was able to get, I was able to get a clean scrape and pick up a clean image. So this image transferred beautifully. I had no issues and I love the game Uno. Uno is such a, a classic game to play with everybody. So I'm ta just taking pure acetone and cleaning the stamping plate. I'm going to do pick up one more like kind of large image and just stamp it onto my little sticky pad. So you can see how some more of the images transfer. I like this plate. None of the images were too big. Um, there are a few images that might not completely fit on your nail, so you might have to shrink them, but nothing ridiculously crazy. Um, most of the images were pretty small, so they should fit on your nails. But you can see this transferred beautifully. I really enjoyed this plate. I had no issues with it. Next, I'm moving on to the Scooby-Doo plate. This one's called Zoinks. They do have a couple different Scooby-Doo plates and I'm probably gonna pick up the other one because I really liked Scooby-Doo when I was growing up. So I started with this mystery mach machine image. I think it transferred nicely. It was just a little bit big for my nails. A little bit too wide. But it still transferred really nicely. Next, I'm trying out a Scooby-Doo image. There's a ton of Scooby-Doo images on this plate. 
and this one's so cute this one fit like perfectly on my nail <laughs> so if you have nails that are a little bit shorter than me again you might have to shrink this image but it it fit perfectly on my nail length it's so cute transferred great Again, I'm trying another corner image, and of course, I scraped it the wrong way again. <laughs> um, so, you should only have to scrape the image one time. When you scrape over and over again, it kind of makes the polish dry a little bit faster, which was my issue. And part of the image didn't stick to my nail because it was just, it had dried at that point. But that was my fault. That was not the image's fault. So this Scooby and Shaggy image was a little bit large, so you might want to try to shrink this image if you wanted to go on your if you wanted to go on your nails completely. You might want to shrink the image if you want the complete image on your nail, because I stamped it on my thumb, which is pretty wide, and it was still a little bit too big for the image, or the image was still a little bit too big for my thumb. Of course, if you had a plate like this, you might want to like do letterings or numbers. Um, I'm not going to bother doing that today. I'm just going to show you how the images transfer. And you can see they transfer pretty well. Um, I didn't have any issues. Okay, I'm going to move on to the fall plate. It's called Oh My Gourd. And I'm not going to lie, this is the plate I had the most issues with. Nothing too big, it's just like it has a lot of like thinner lined images. So some of the lines was a little bit difficult to pick up. Or if I was able to pick them up, I wasn't able to transfer them to my nails because it had dried at that point. So um. This is a plate I would probably suggest using a different nail stamping polish besides Maniology because Maniology does tend to, their polishes do dry a little bit faster than some other stamping polishes I have. But I started with this Leaf Me Alone image and some of the letters didn't transfer when I put it on my nail. Which was fine. I was able to use my sticky base coat from Maniology and just apply that to the nail. And I was able to line up the image and transfer it onto my nail um, perfectly. So it wasn't a big deal. It just like it just dried a little bit too fast. So for this play, it's probably best to if you're using Maniology stamping polishes. You might want to just go ahead and use a sticky base coat on your nails before trans transferring the image. You might have a little bit better look. Or again, you can just try to stamp a little bit faster. I am recording and do have bright lights and stuff like that, so it does dry the polish a little bit, a little bit quicker. Next, when I tried these boots, again, I had an issue picking up some of the lines. It just didn't transfer cleanly. also had an issue with this umbrella so again I'm bringing out the Maniology sticky base coat applying that to my nails waiting about 20 seconds then I'm gonna stamp the image down but I, I still had an issue like picking up the individual lines that are between the umbrella they just didn't transfer to my nail so I'm not sure I'd have to try this specific image with another nail stamping polish 
like it got the outline of the umbrella just you can't see the little individual lines in the side the image so I'm just gonna try stamping that one more time so you can see what I'm talking about Overall, I had a really good experience with these nail stamping plates. If you're interested in trying out these plates, be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll leave their information in the description box. Um, they have a variety of different nail stamping plates that are really cool, really unique. And I also did a reverse stamping tutorial using the Scooby-Doo stamping plate. So be sure to look out for another video of me using the stamping plate so you can see what nail design I did. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, y'all.